the problem with 2K's career mode is it's actually two game modes disguised as one, right? So you have the My Career, and there's a story, narrative-driven My Career story mode that is tied. You are, and then in this, we're going to use this year as an example, where it's like no matter how good your player is, you will always be compared to Shep Owens, right? That's the My Player storyline. You have all these cutscenes. You have all these side quests to do. Now, the problem with that is, is that the story pacing fucking falls apart as soon as you add VC to the mix, right? So say, for instance, that you log on and you don't pay any VC. Your, the story mode will go along and make more sense. Like, okay, now you're not as good as Shep Owens. You're a freaking 65 overall in the NBA, and you got to actually claw and fight your way into the starting lineup of players that are 70, 80, 85 overall. Now, if you pay $45 extra to pay to make your player a 85 overall, basically a Lori Markin and overall type player, an all star level player, um, the story falls apart because now you are in your 2k dropping like 60 70 80 point triple doubles in your 10th nba game while simultaneously the story which is stagnant and linear still has you and kendra perkins and jj reddick and cutscenes, stagnant cutscenes, being like oh this player dropped a 60 point triple double and is still not as good as shep owens and you're like what the fuck that doesn't make sense on the flip side if you do try to make it more story and it's like the story more works and not pay for vc if you do that then you are at a competitive disadvantage when you play on the my career like the my career park side right so if you're a 65 overall in the story mode the story mode might make sense but as soon as you go to like the park the wreck the blacktop you are at a competitive disadvantage from everybody that has paid 45 dollars plus to be good at that side of the ball at that side of the court. So then, so that's why 2K, it falls short. 2K puts all of this effort into the the writing, the motion capture, getting all these celebrity guests to have a story that makes it feel competitive, like feels like coherent and all of that. And that all goes out the window as soon as you pay $40 because you, your player is at a progressive pace that isn't where the story is so far. But on the flip side, if you don't pay money, you are at a competitive disadvantage and the online experience is shit. So 2K needs to separate these game modes to make it make sense or else it's just not gonna be fun either way.